Uh, Dan, this is quite surprising given that just recently U.S. regulators were warning of shortages here in the Northeast. Yeah, you know, th this is uh, a little bit of good news for consumers, but maybe just temporary good news. A lot of this has to do with the, the natural characteristics of natural gas. It's difficult to transport. It's difficult to store. You know, in its natural form, it just wants to uh, evaporate up into the air. Um, and, and so when you get a situation like right now when production is booming and it's running out of pipeline space and it's running out of storage space, uh, Producers basically have to pay somebody to take it on or they have to start the expensive process of shutting in production because even in Texas, regulators won't let you just uh, waft it out into the air because it's uh, so potentially harmful to uh, the um, atmosphere. Um, <laughs> Dan, meanwhile, in Europe, the energy crisis is taking a bit of a surprise turn. Are we now in a gas glut? <laughs> Not exactly. Again, this is, uh, this is once uh, a very, well, it, it's good news, but it's probably temporary good news. Europe has done a really great job of spending a lot of money to lure LNG cargoes in. It's filled up its storage. Right now, the weather is nice and warm and balmy in Europe, so people aren't turning on their heat. They're not using air conditioning. So the, we're getting into a bit of a, a situation where there's not enough storage for all these tankers. Um, and, and again, you know, there's just not a lot of place to put natural gas. If you have too much aluminum, you can put it in a warehouse. Too much crude oil, you can stick it on a tanker. Uh, but gas is a much, much different animal. And so for the moment, it looks like we're having a gas glut and prices are having to, to go down on the spot market to try to push back cargoes. But if you look out into, into February, into January, when you know, the, uh, the cold winter months will have taken their time to deplete some of these inventories, prices are a lot higher. The market is indicating that you know, this, the crisis is not over. It's just going to be delayed a few months.